Psychology Today Psychology Today Find professionals the drama of deception search form normalizing drug use the drug policy battle in the U.S. isn't about medical marijuana or even legalizing marijuana. It's about normalizing drug use. Do drugs create different experiences from other involvements we are familiar with? Are they more compelling, more inescapable, less controllable, more inexorable in their progression to addiction than other experiences that we encounter daily? They are not. Three theorists who make this point are Bruce Alexander, Carl Hart, and me. Bruce shows that rats provided ordinary life alternatives in Rat Park, including, especially, the opportunity for sex, prefer these to continuing their habituated use of morphine solution. Carl shows that the supposedly inevitable negative effects of methamphetamines are overstated, as is obvious from their sharing a chemical structure with Adderall. As for crack, Carl describes in high price his upbringing in a Miami ghetto prior to the crack epidemic, and how the drug had no substantial effect on the social pathology that predated the drug's appearance. My argument in love and addiction was that people form extremely pathological involvements with a large number of powerful experiences, love and sex being the most prominent examples, but also including gambling, electronic games, eating, et al. I, and co-author Archie Brodsky, meant by pointing this out that drugs did not have the special quality of addictiveness. But, Instead of recognizing this commonality between things we all know about and drug experiences, advocates for sex and love addiction, for example, Benoit Denizet Lewis, affixed the standard 12-step, loss of control meme to these other addictions. Rather than normalizing drug experiences, they pathologized non-drug experiences. By and large, people don't accept Bruce's, Carl's, and my idea that drug responses fall in the range of normal human experiences, or my idea of the equivalency of drug and behavioral addictions, which is now the American Psychiatric Association's official position. Please don't answer, you don't mean physiologically addictive. See the meaning of addiction, Americans carry too much cultural baggage to allow those ideas in. Instead, we think drugs, especially narcotics, and most especially heroin, followed by cocaine, crack and meth, are truly addictive. In fact, did you know cocaine was only declared addictive in the 1980s, after a century and more of experience with the drug? Flash forward to the present, where an article in a major journal showed marijuana produced abnormal fMRI results in regular pot smokers. So what? As Myers Zarlavitz noted, these were normal subjects. So what did these brain images prove? And, as Ilse Thompson and I pointed out in Recover, stop thinking like an addict, measurable dopamine and FMRI responses are produced by every notable human experience, including seeing a baby smile. So what? Maya goes on to cite statistics from the 2012 National Survey of Drug Use and Health, in which fewer than 1% of Americans have a serious marijuana problem although 48% have used marijuana in their lives. Why, that's less than 2% of everyone who has ever used the drug to abuse or are addicted to the substance currently. That is so unlike dangerous drugs to which everyone rapidly becomes permanently addicted? Not exactly. Here are the lifetime use figures for heroin, 2.6%, cocaine, 18%, crack, 5%, and meth. 6%. Here are the current abusers, addicts with these drugs, heroin, 0.1%, cocaine, 0.4%, crack, not listed, meth, only stimulants listed equals 0.2%. So, for heroin, that's 4% of ever users who are addicted, and for cocaine about the same as for marijuana, around 2%. While meth and crack can't be calculated. The figure is clearly a small minority, less than 10%. What are we to make of that? According to government surveys, people rarely find even the most addictive, dangerous drugs to be, well, addictive and dangerous. Please don't answer, people don't tell the truth in government surveys.
In their comprehensive follow-up of Vietnam vets addicted to heroin in Asia, Lee Robbins and her colleague found that users of heroin steticide were no more likely to consume that drug compulsively than were users of other illicit drugs. Based on this and other research, I said in The Meaning of Addiction, heroin does not appear to differ significantly in the potential range of its use from other types of involvements and even compulsive users cannot be distinguished from those given to other habitual involvements in the ease with which they desist or shift their patterns of use. As I said there, this book embraces rather than evades the complicated and multifactorial nature of addiction. Only by accepting this complexity is it possible to put together a meaningful picture of addiction, to say something useful about drug use as well as about other compulsions and to comprehend the ways in which people hurt themselves through their own behavior as well as grow beyond self-destructive involvements. And if, say pa, see how smoking fits in here. My friend Oddy Jaff made me aware that Bruce, Carl, and I shared this outlook, calling all of us, disapprovingly, radical environmentalists. Stanton Peel has been empowering people around addiction since writing, with Archie Brodsky, Love and Addiction in 1975. He has developed the online life process program. His new book, written with Ilse Thompson, is Recover. Stop thinking like an addict with the perfect program. Work smarter. Excellent! As of Jan 2017, new location, 39 degrees 42 minutes 0 seconds north 104 degrees 54 minutes 29 seconds west, GPS. At Leetsdale Drive and South Anita Street, Cedar Run Apartments or some Crambone Blows and Blows Playroom Denver, Colorado, United States of America HTTP colon slash slash or some Kramer Ben Playroom dot school at grow up dot net 2017 GRUW. UP. Dot. NET Great Reasons Us, you there, I hear, and all visiting real space guests and outside listening audience, will unite please see also, make to pond, playroom AI she is wisdom wise meme search, hash MAKTA dot P O N D.